<laughs> so, no, Alex with you again. No, I know. Hamish. So, I guess he's probably DIYing a storm up because it's st school holidays. He, he will be. He will be. Funnily enough, he's actually down at my holiday place and he's getting the wind turbine going for me. Oh, nice. I know. I'm like, oh, while you're there, <laughs> might as well keep him working. Yeah, that's his rent. Um, so, what are we going to talk about today? Okay, we're going to talk headboards. Uh, and this is a job I do myself. Right. Well, that's a blatant lie. Sometimes I pay a man. But um, I have in the past made these myself. And I think it is school holidays, so we're going we're to talk a little bit about kids' projects, but also things that we can do for ourselves. Yeah, because the thing about a headboard, it really does finish off a room, doesn't it? Your, your bedroom, yeah. obviously. I, I'm a huge fan of them. Um, I, you know, some people like their sleigh beds and their slap beds and all their bits and pieces. I say no. I like a, a base with a mattress and then a headboard. Um, and if you need something more, then we put a footstool at the end. But headboards really set off a room. And you can personalise them. So how do you make them? Like, how do we make a quick, easy one? OK, quick, easy one, sheet of MDF. So that'll work fine for a queen-size bed. And getting nearer to a king, you might have to make it a little bit bigger. But, you know, it's some um, 1,200 um, by 2.4. You can frame around the outside with 4 by 2 upholster around that, staple gun, foam, fabric, and then make up an insert which just pushes over it. So what we've done there is not had to sew. Right, Ooh. so that looks fantastic. So there it? you go. And so that's making up your frame, stretching the fabric over, and staple gunning it on the back. What sort of foam thickness wise? Well, um, probably 20 mil, 25 mil. It depends on what you want. The key is on the corners. You don't want to skimp on the corners, otherwise it'll look like a sharp edge. Yeah. Oh, that's fancy one, that one. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's, um, that's when you've paid someone to do it, unless you're really crafty. <laughs> it's a really nice upholstered bed head there. Yeah, it is. I'm just thinking like stretch fabric staple around the back. That's more me. And you can you can do them simply and your choice of fabrics what can give you a lot of impact with it. Right, okay, cool. So when it comes to fabrics, this here is obviously, it looks even like a fitted sheet in all well, honesty. And, and this is it. There's your other way. You can make your frame, then you can get your fabric, you can sew elastic around it, exactly like a fitted sheet, Mike, and nice. uh, put it on. And then you can just change them out whenever you wanted to. You can. Well, that's exactly right. You actually could do that. So, I hadn't thought of that. So this is a good thing for kids to do? It is. Well, kids' beds are great because they're normally singles unless you've got some luxurious child with a double. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so quite straightforward. Obviously, you can do many things. You can have fun and um, make something out of MDF and paint it up. Okay, right. So you can do that sort of thing, like a cubby hole, right? Cool, oh, yes. fun, it's a, it's simple. a cubby hole there. Like yeah, that. and, and that's not a hard project. It's going to make it quite exciting for, for the kids to go off to bed. Yeah. Uh, you can do things such as get a simple panel and just upholster it with fabric once again. Because of the width of the, the drops of fabric are pretty straightforward. Pop down to somewhere like Martha's or something like that, get some off cuts. That know. makes it look pretty special as well. It does, and it's fun for kids to have fun here, boys. Yeah. yeah, you might as well. While you're young, you might as well just go crazy and do some really good stuff in your room. That's right. Now, if you're us... Yeah. You know, shall we say, slightly more mature. <laughs> One would like to have something a little more special. So in this regard, you can have a lot of fun with recycled and upcycled stuff. So you can get things, uh, I don't know, let's see, like a couple of old doors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you can put nice. two old doors. Now, fix these things to the wall, okay? Okay, you know, not it's, to a the bed. it's a nice bit. Right. No, not to the bed, because that's when they rattle and shake. Okay. And we don't like things like that. So fix them to the wall, then push the bed up to them, okay? Actually, that looks really good. It does, it does work. Uh, fire mantelpiece. I mean, sensational, really. You've got the mantelpiece, you upholster a piece to go inside the middle of it, push it into the position, fix it to the wall, and push the bed up. I like that very much indeed, but it'll be quite small if you've got a little small mantelpiece. Well, yeah, I mean, you'd have to have the right mantelpiece, but then again, you could also build yourself a faux mantelpiece if you really felt inclined. Uh, but, you know, this is all recycled stuff, so, you know, you just go down to the timber yard and have a look around, you never know who's yeah. got what like Well, that's yeah. right, there have been a lot of colonial houses around that took their shutters off the walls. Um, yeah. A friend of mine had, like, 50 of them, which he sold on trade because it took the whole lot down from the house. You can pick things like that up quite simply. Oh, it's it sounds nice. like you just go, your imagination is, like, the key to everything. It is. Fantastic. Hey, that's actually been really enlightening. And I don't mean to say that like I'm surprised because you are <laughs> I know. Really enlightening. I was about to think about but it. But when we get good information out of you all no, at good. once, it is quite good, isn't it? No, no. <laughs> it's, amazing. it's amazing how those bedrooms change too, actually. I know. When you do it, yeah. it's something you can do at home. Okay, well, thank you very much, Hamish. Some very cool school holiday projects right there.